This video is over SS, which stands for the sum of the squared deviation scores. Okay, so to compute the SS or sum of the squared deviation scores, we are going to use the formula for for population. This formula is equal to summation or sum of x minus mu squared, or x is your value, and mu is your mean for the population. Now if you have a sample instead of a population, your formula is going to look like the summation of x minus m squared, where m is now your mean for this particular sample. Now regardless whether you have a population or a sample, these two, the SS will be computed the exact same way. So now let's do a quick example. Suppose you have a sample of numbers, five numbers, which are two, four, one, five, and three. And the mean of this sample is equal to 3. So the SS is a three-step process where the first step is going to be to compute the deviation scores. Now recall that the deviation score is the distance between your value and the mean number, which in this case is 3. And notice that in for the deviation score, I'm using an M instead of a mu because we have a sample of scores. So for the deviation scores, they are equal to negative 1, positive 1, negative 2, positive 2, and 0. That's step 1. Step 2, before we go to step 2, a good self-check at this point is to check the sum of your deviation scores. Recall that when you add up all of your deviation scores it should equal zero and if you look at our deviation scores it does equal zero so that means that you have most likely computed your deviation scores correctly. So for step two we are going to take our deviation scores and we are going to square them. So when you do that, you get 1, 1, 4, 4, and 0. So our final step is to take our squared deviation scores and simply add them all together and when you get that you get 10 and this 10 is equal to our SS score.